Hi, this is Mrs. Heismuddle, and today we are going to be doing our task number seven, which is adding a while loop to task five. So the first thing I have to do is go find my code that I had saved for task five. So I'm going to go open my file, and there's my task five code. I'm going to open it up, and you can see all my information is there. It says task five. My task description was to turn on the LED until the potentiometer is greater than 2048. Then the LED should go off and the left motor should start until the potentiometer is less than 2048. And then I should have said stop. Well, actually, at that point, the LED comes on and stop motor. So my pseudocode was LED on. Until potentiometer greater than 2048, LED off, start motor. Until potentiometer less than 2048, and then we are going to stop motor. Well, actually, then we would turn the LED on and stop motor. There we go. So I just add a little bit there to my pseudocode to make sure it was right. This is the actual code that I typed in. I turned on my LED light, which I had named green. I know it's named green. In my actual thing, it's red, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. The test bed just wants to call it green. So we are going to, there we go. It's on potentiometer greater than 2048. The name of my potentiometer again is potentiometer. I know, very unique. Then as soon as it gets to that greater than point, it's going to turn off the LED and turn on the left motor. Once it's less than that, it's going to turn on the LED and turn off the left motor by stopping the left motor. So we've already run this program and we know that it works. So now what we need to do is we need to add a while loop. So the way to add a while loop, first off, I know that this automatically shows up, but I'm going to delete it. Put an entry and I'm going to type while 1 equals equals 1 because that is the simplest kind of while loop there is. After the while loop, I type another open bracket because I have to tell Robot C what is inside the open bracket. And for every open bracket, there must be a closed bracket. So now that I have that, I'm going to go to compile program and make sure that it is compiled correctly. There's no X's on anything. And then I'm going to go ahead and compile and download the program to the Cortex.